Dr. Nick Delgado here, author of Simply Healthy, the best cookbook to teach you how to be incredibly well. I'm going to give you some health tips here right from my own kitchen. Uh, first off, I took some basic baked potatoes and I got some uh, Japanese sweet potatoes and some regular yams. And on the cutting board here, I went ahead and uh, cut them all up because I'm going to put them in the dehydrator. So give me a moment here. Uh, I try and cut them thin, but uh, we'll get them as thin as we can because they're going to be thin like potato chips. And uh, since we're using the dehydrator, we're going to go ahead and uh, put it at 105 degrees, which is actually already going on. And meanwhile, uh, the extra potatoes, I'm going to put into this crock pot soup because I'm really into efficiency and making things so they're ready in the morning to eat. Just mouth-watering flavors going throughout the house. So take a look what I've got in here. I've got um, uh, some potatoes. I've got uh, broccoli, onions, and black-eyed peas with garlic. This is, this is gonna just taste so good in the morning. And this will be good for about three or four meals. I mean, it's really uh, gonna serve up a good plan for the family with a lot of variety of cruciferous vegetables and whole nutrition. Uh, here's some uh, pinto beans that I cooked in a crock pot uh, with no oil. And uh, I put some whole grain spelt uh, tortillas, ancient grain. And so I'm gonna put those ready to go. And I actually rolled in a little bit of uh, avocado in that particular one and I heated it up already so see it's all ready to go as a tasty burrito to snack on. Now a little, little avocado that I put in there and I put some uh, special uh, Sea of Cortez trace mineral sea salt which is really low in sodium and high in the trace minerals and really rich in 90 organic nutrients. So I've got some baby bok choy. If you don't know what baby bok choy it kind of looks uh, you know, all together usually like this, and I separated and cleaned it in some um, some special high uh, hydrogen water uh, to, to soak in a little bit. And what what I wanted to do was put a few leaves of it in the dehydrator. I'm told it won't come out all that good, but we'll see. But meanwhile, I'm going to add this uh, baby bok choy in the crock pot, so in the morning it's going to be ready to eat along with some broccoli. So um, I want to make sure I have enough water in there to finish. So if I just leave this on high on the crock pot all night, so about eight hours in the morning, it'll be totally permeating nice flavors and aromas throughout the house, and I'll know to turn it off, put it on low, or just turn it off, and then serve up some food for the day. So I'm gonna uh, come on over here and uh, take a look at the dehydrator. You see, we've already put some uh, Japanese uh, sweet potatoes, which the longest of the people in the world, uh, they're amongst uh, that blue zone. They uh, eat about 75% of their calories from sweet potatoes. Now dehydrating them preserves the nutrients by taking the water out, but all the nutrition is there. Now here's some just simple sweet potatoes, or you can call them yams, depending on the variety. And I've got some open trays, so I'm just gonna sprinkle these potatoes on the tray and so that they can be ready. The thinner they are, the better. Um, that'll make it uh, real simple. So, you know, that being said, uh, let's, let's, let's just keep moving forward to get this uh, a tray ready. And what I don't uh, fit in the tray, quite frankly, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the leftover in my crock pot. Uh, so everything's gonna get used in this meal. It's gonna be delicious and wonderful. I've got some onions here. And I'm, I'm thinking about putting some spice right on these uh, potatoes. So the potato chips, I'll put uh, maybe some turmeric and some garlic um, powder and maybe some onion powder. So these are gonna be really flavorful. Uh, <laughs> flavorful potato chips. So that's that tray's pretty loaded up here. I'm gonna put the next tray, oh wow, nice empty space. So we'll get these here spread out really well. I don't know if you can see that spreading on, on the tray. Uh, these, these trays uh, work very simple and easy and effective. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bok choy in there and we'll figure out how that comes out in the morning. So this is uh, Dr. Nick Delgado. Take a look at nickdelgado.com and tomorrow morning you'll see the outcome of this incredible meal. Uh, it's tasty, high in fiber, high in vitamins and minerals, and because it's being done in a dehydrator, a food dehydrator Excalibur, um, it, it's going to come out very high in nutrition. I can nibble on these for snacks throughout the week along with Roman, Chef Roman. He's, he's going to enjoy my little seven-year-old. He's going to enjoy uh, these tasty meals. So uh, keep in mind, be well, be healthy, and eat well. 
and get in your exercise. You see my little workout equipment behind me here. I've got a whole gym in the house and in the back, in my backyard. We'll, we'll cut away to my uh, intense workout tomorrow morning if you join me. Dr. Nick Delgado again saying, uh, be well and take a look at my book, Simply Healthy Cookbook, filled with over 240 incredible recipes, just really delectable, incredible, and fulfilling all of the criteria of lifestyle medicine. So if you want to exist with anti-aging, lifestyle medicine, and immortality, then just stay tuned for each of my segments. NickDelgado.com.